Now to breaking news in Westwood where we are learning an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy has died more than eight months after an SUV crashed into him while on a training run with fellow recruits. Deputy Alex Martinez was critically injured in the November 16th crash and never made it out of the hospital. He was an Army veteran and Cal State Northridge graduate. And we are expecting a procession to begin shortly. Gil Levis is overhead in Sky 5 with more Gil. Sharon, Micah, you're looking at a group of law enforcement uh, vehicles here that have gathered here in front of the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center tonight to uh, bring honor to uh, Alejandro Alex Martinez, who passed away tonight. He was uh, fighting eight months here at the hospital and died tonight uh, of his injuries, uh, surrounded by family and friends. You can see uh, some people entering uh, the area right now, but we are expecting a, a procession to take place sometime tonight from uh, this location here at the hospital to the L.A. County Coroner's Office in Boyle Heights. But right now, law enforcement uh, continues to gather here at the hospital to pay tribute to that fallen recruit. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. And as we know, Gil, these things uh, can take some time uh, before the procession begins. Uh, and uh, oftentimes we'll see deputies and law enforcement from other agencies gathering uh, as well uh, as the agency that has been impacted. And there's a look now at uh, Alejandro Martinez. You recall this story uh, in November uh, when these recruits were running along a, a, a surface street in Whittier and a driver came across the median the wrong way and plowed into that group of recruits. Uh, a horrific scene uh, that, that is hard to forget uh, and one that we remember very well close uh, covering. Uh, but again, Gil, this is a situation where uh, this could take some time before we actually see movement. Yeah, it appears that the uh, coroner's van arrived here a short time ago. You can see it there in the center of your screen. We do have a fire uh, engine there as well that has arrived. But uh, more and more law enforcement uh, officers are arriving here, again, to pay tribute. You can see some that have lined up here on uh, the street just in front of the hospital. There are more that are gathering here. So we should be seeing that happening relatively soon, that uh, procession going from here to Boyle Heights. Yeah, and we were saying that they um, were in training recruits uh, at the time of the crash in November. November, and uh, they were actually all sworn in um, in March by Sheriff Robert Luna, who uh, swore in the Academy Class 464, and he was one of them. Unfortunately, as we've been reporting, he's been in the hospital there since November and um, has succumbed to those injuries tonight. He was critically injured, as many were uh, during that crash, as you might remember, that happened uh, at about 6 o'clock in the morning when those recruits were in formation um, running in the Whittier neighborhood when that SUV went the wrong way. Now, the driver had said that he was uh, not under the influence, that he simply had a medical issue, that he fell asleep. And there is that video right there where you see that SUV about to barrel in to that group of recruits. And so Alex Martinez being one of those recruits, probably in the front of that mm -hmm. um, class, you know, suffering those critical injuries has died tonight. And remember, and there's the scene, the aftermath, just just horrific, very difficult video to look at um, as you see the triage being set up there in a situation uh, that was chaotic for so many recruits uh, here, something they'll obviously uh, stay with them uh, for the entirety of their careers and beyond. Just a tragic development. Uh, and to see that uh, a deputy has now lost his life as a result of that so many months later, uh, is is a sad, uh, sad development here tonight uh, to a story uh, that was so difficult to watch unfold uh, back in November. Mm -hmm. uh, Gil, we're, we're still waiting for this procession. Um, uh, I assume they'll take, uh, what, the, the 10 freeway east? Yeah, I imagine they would jump onto the uh, 405 to the 10 and then uh, head east to the uh, 5 freeway and then up to Boyle Heights to uh, Mission Road where the uh, uh, coroner's office is located. Yeah, at the time of that uh, that horrific crash, the video that we were showing you, Alex Martinez, uh, the deputy that has died tonight, uh, was 27 years old. And, and it's just such a shame to see uh, such a young life cut short. There is a photo of Alejandro Alex Martinez, again, at the time of that crash in November, was 27. Unsure if he's had a birthday since then, but nonetheless, um, it's, it's hard to see uh, somebody who has 
um, has dedicated his life to be part, um, you know, of, of this force to lose his life so young and, um, and in this fashion. He had everything ahead of him uh, and uh, was uh, prepared to serve. Uh, and and lost his life uh, in a fashion that, that is really hard to get your mind around uh, a situation like that. Law enforcement putting their lives on the line every day in the line of duty. And to see something like that happen uh, is, uh, is difficult to watch. Again, um, a deputy about 27 years old um, from the recruits of uh, a crash in Whittier has died tonight. Sky 5 over the scene, of course, will continue to follow this story beginning in the morning on the morning news here on Saturday morning. Good night, Good. everybody. Good night.